What is up, everyone? I am your host, Jordan Suzewitz, and thank you for tuning into our second conversation on this brand new podcast series called Film the Hunt. This week, I get to sit down over a beer with a great friend, Tom Petrie, and he is the co-founder of a TV show called Become One on the Sportsman's Channel, as well as co-founder of Film the Hunt. Tom has been filming and producing in the outdoor space for over 25 years. And I can remember when I was looking at trying to learn how to film my hunts, his name came up as one of the best instructors out there. Tom and Nick Ventura both run the film to hunt schools and have helped many achieve their dreams of working in the outdoor industry. And I can say that I am one of them that they have helped made a dream become a reality. Now, before we get into today's conversation, I wanted to say thank you to Bedford Camera and Video. Not only do they help keep this podcast available, but they have donated a $100 gift card for us to give away. Now to win this gift card, all you have to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button and then head over to Facebook and type in Film the Hunt. Make sure you like the Film the Hunt Facebook page and then find the new podcast post and make sure you type in subscribed in the comment section. And then from there, March 13th, 2020, we're gonna do the drawing and one lucky winner will get that $100 gift card to Bedford Camera and Video. Now let me tell you a little bit more about Bedford's and why they are such a rock star company. It's because of their customer service. I mean, they give out their cell phone number so that if you're in any situation that you need help, they're gonna be there to help you. I've taken advantage of this and I've called them on the weekend when I have been in a situation and man, they took care of me. And one last thing about Bedford's and why I dig them so much. They have created different level cameraman packages to fit your budget. And the cool thing is, is that you can tweak that package to just how you want it. And if you don't know, We do have a discount code with Bedford's and it's Film the Hunt. So if you want to save a few of those hard earned dollars on gear and accessories, make sure you use the Film the Hunt discount code at checkout. Now let's crack that beer and get into today's conversation with Tom. So, Mr. Tom Petrie, how are you? Mr. Jordan Suzewitz. I'm good, man. I'm good. Good. I still have a voice, barely, but I've got it. Yeah. The Great American Outdoor Show, that doesn't, that kind of thing doesn't happen. It's a marathon. It is a marathon. Actually, I feel like it's an ultra marathon, honestly. It is, but that's the name of my game. <laughs> ultra marathon. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I, you know, I, it's, I don't like to give up, and this show is about not giving up. That's 100%, yeah, 100% true. It doesn't mean you don't want to at times. Well, there's always that, that time where you're like, you know, this kind of sucks. Right, But at right. the end of the day, you grind it out. And then you drink. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get up and do it all over then again. Then you get up and do it all over again. Yeah. yeah no doubt. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Day, and, and we really don't even know what day it is. I guess we do because tomorrow's the last day. Yeah, at this point in the game you do because you do see the light yeah. at the end of the tunnel. But, yeah. uh, but you know, it's bittersweet. I was just saying earlier, I, 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 I feel like the crowds have been good and I've seen a lot of people, but I don't think I've seen quite, um, you know, some of the people that I feel like I normally see. Yeah, uh, which is good I guess or it's bad. Good. New crowd. New crowd, new people. Maybe there's a That's lot of new good. people getting into the industry or are or, or getting into hunting and stuff like that. So here's a valid point. You know what I've seen a lot of? What? Significant others wanting to Man, that's film a good point. their boyfriend or husband. Many of those. Yeah. It's many, crazy. many of those. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> this and, and, and you know this typical Jordan Suzewitz fashion this is the glass half full uh, approach but you're no but you're absolutely right I mean uh, I, I can say honestly I feel like I've talked to more couples yeah than I have just seeing you know individuals walking up guys in their 20s 30s looking to do this uh, and, I mean honestly yeah yeah, yeah. so that's, that is interesting and just a perfect uh, example is we had two couples last Sunday or Saturday it was they bought from you know bedford outdoors um a complete producer's package or a complete package um spent quite a bit of money and um you know yet they they have not called us yet and and wanted to book the school but the one thing that we i mean we talked to them for hours yeah and they asked a lot of questions questions, and they were super interested and obviously they're interested interested enough to buy the gear the gear yeah which is an investment in itself yep and and i think regardless and what i see a lot of times is i think even if they uh don't book a school now when they when they make an investment like that and they jump into a gear that they've never you know been in front of before behind um they're they're most likely at that point going to realize 
they've spent that much now they need to learn how to run it properly, right you know? right well and a lot of things like i've been talking to people you know people about is yeah you definitely can go out there and try and learn this on your own i tried right. you right. know Absolutely. i tried for yeah. years you yeah. you can only you uh search youtube so much because right. you don't know the correct keywords right to find what you're looking, what you're looking for. for yeah you don't know the, the, um, the what question to ask necessarily. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah thank yeah. you so you know coming to the school you definitely can get over that leap of trying to figure out a leap of frustration mm -hmm. yeah. uh, of trying to figure it out on your own now i'm not saying people there is people that are out there uh that do it but you know if you're someone that kind of wants to you know speedball the game a little bit right 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 i'm not you know fast track it man yeah you know get right to the end just, goal <laughs> just dive in man both feet well no it's true i you know i'm coming i'm coming from uh you know i'm living proof that uh it if you want to learn this on your own it's going to take many years many yeah. many years and 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 you know what in an ever-changing industry with technology changing so quickly now it may take longer than that because right when you get caught up and you think you know something it changes right and you're always behind we're behind the eight ball yeah and 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 you know we we do it professionally we do it daily so yeah yeah it's a difficult time to be able to learn it all ground up online i think yeah anyway. yeah and i agree um so kind of you know going off of that you know obviously we're talking about schools and people coming into the schools and stuff like that is that the angle you want to take with this just a 45 degree angle. surprise me okay <laughs> no right, no right. um is that a lot of kids or i shouldn't say kids a lot of people that are coming up to the booth you know because we've gotten this question is yep what, what am i going to make as you know if, if i go through these classes you know and i decide to do this you know a lot of it's uh, self-driven and, and how motivated people are as individuals to go out there and get work and, and be good at it and learn it and so on and so forth um but there is also that aspect of you know people you know potentially going to class and going out there and doing work for free how long should someone potentially do work for free to kind of get their name out there if they should do work for free or if they should jump in in there and say hey i'm going to charge 100 bucks a day or 300 dollars right, a day right what is kind of your mindset and what you think people should kind of what what yeah mindset should people have man you know that's it, it, uh it's a fair question it's a tough question to answer only because you're right uh, from individual to individual that answer could change mm -hmm. um and that's because i think a lot of that is determined by the uh the initial uh -huh. um talent level or skill set level of that individual uh and then once they get that formal education um where they're at at that point yeah. so so in other words if uh, you throw a scenario out there you, uh, somebody that's been filming hunts for a couple years <laughs> they kind of know their way around a camera but they're still running auto modes um they're talented they have an eye you know they have that proverbial knack for this uh but then they decide to take that leap go ahead your question yeah i'm gonna okay. start right there yeah, so sure. how would someone know if they have an eye or not I don't know that you necessarily would know. I mean, maybe you would. Um, you know, maybe you're shooting a bunch of photos and you're putting them on social media and you got yeah. somebody that's always just like, you know, or not somebody. You've got a lot. Of, you're, maybe you've grown a following. You've got a lot yeah. of people are always saying, man, your your stuff is beautiful. You know, these photos you're taking or this, <laughs> these videos you've put together are beautiful. Now, uh, on the flip side of that, I've seen people put things together and put things out there that their friends and family are telling them they're, that's great. Yep. But that's friends and family honestly just being uh, being nice you know yeah. kind of patting them on the back or sugarcoating something and I, and I don't think it's fair to ever sugarcoat something if it, everybody can always improve right but if if somebody needs work they shouldn't be told their stuff's amazing they should be told hey you love doing this man you're doing a great job go get educated go improve go get better at yeah. what they're doing but i think i mean i've seen that i think there's people out there that man they just they technically don't have it figured out but man They've got an eye. Yeah. You know, yeah. if they're turning out just cell phone photos that you look at them and say, that's beautiful. Right. If it was technically shot correctly, it would be amazing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think it's those individuals. And, I, you know, I, know, I guess that's a hard thing. I think you've had, you're, after you've been told so many times by so many different people, you just kind of realize, maybe I do have a thing, yeah. you know, a thing for this. I mean, a good example of that, I guess, would be myself. And honestly, rewinding, and I've told this story in the class, but rewinding 25 years ago, when Len Rue, Dr. Len Rue III, yep. handed me that big camera and put it on my shoulder, and I went out in his yard and shot video for 20 minutes. It's super intimidating. You know, this camera weighs 38 pounds. It's got a bunch of buttons on it. It weighs, or it cost, uh, whatever, $30,000 back yeah. then. I didn't yeah. have, you know, I was borrowing this camera. And I shot video, and I went into his 
uh, back into his, his house slash office, and we watched that footage, and he said to me these exact words. He said, son, there isn't anything I can teach you about this camera that you don't already know. And when I heard that then, I guess I felt proud, but at the same time I was scared because inside I knew I didn't know anything about that camera. Right. I didn't know yeah, a darn yeah. thing about it. Nothing. Hmm. No, but I didn't know what those buttons did. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know uh, anything about exposure controls. None of it. I guess I just had an eye. Yeah. And, and well, I, I say I guess. That's what he told me. Yep. He, I, I said that to him. I said, Len, I don't know what any of these buttons do or whatever. And he pointed to his eye and he goes, no, but you have this. Yeah. And he said, the rest you'll figure out. And and I guess na at the time, I guess I took that as, wow, my idol, so to speak, yeah. is telling me I know what I'm doing <laughs> when I don't. <laughs> so that was my first key tip, I guess, to say, well, I must have something in this. Maybe I should really pursue this. You yeah. Know? So I guess if, if you feel like that ever. Yeah. Then maybe you, maybe you do have it, 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 you know, the yeah. it factor, so to speak. Okay. Um, now, can someone, if they have not been told that, right, and they come to a film to hunt course and go through the four day field right. production course, right, and they leave that, can they say I'm not, or or think what if I don't have that eye? Can they still obtain? Like a technical composure, composure Absolutely. beauty sh shot? Absolutely, they can. And I think that's what, I, you know, I, um, we pride ourselves so much on. Okay. In yeah. the education, the curriculum that we've designed is I feel like we have, we have formed a curriculum over many years of trial and error and figuring out what we need to change and how we need to do set this up so that we can train someone's eye and yeah. of course you know there's technology and there's a lot of tools out there uh that these cameras provide now that can help you you know rule of third grids and things of that nature in these cameras that help i think we've designed this curriculum so that we can provide the training to help you develop an eye now having said that mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that everybody will right some people could listen to that and hear those lessons and watch and do with the help of, of an instructor, uh, you know, they could come to the same course and do it two years in a row, take the same course, hear the same information, do the same practical exercises and still walk away and not get it. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. the majority yeah. will actually walk away and not get it. They're still going to improve overall, but there's a very small percentage of people that will take the course and just it just comes naturally. Yeah. They have an eye or they developed an eye and they're just cranking with it. And you know what? Typically it is the, the younger generation just mm -hmm. because they understand technology a little more. But I have seen, you know, I've seen people come through the courses that I, I knew from day one. This, this person's going to be good. Yeah. They're going to be good. With a little bit of formal education, they're going to be really good. Yeah. You know, they're already good. Yeah. 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 Um, Young Cruz, uh, Young good. Cruz Mead. We went yeah. to his uh, premiere last yep. night. He premiered a film that he he uh, recorded in South Africa, uh, South Africa through my eyes. And I say Young Cruz. You know, he just graduated high school. He's a young man, and I think he's a perfect example because when we saw Cruz's stuff that he was putting together before he decided to come to the course, yeah, you, it was good. You're right. Yeah, but you knew he needed formal education, and he still needs formal education. He's not done yet. Yeah. But the growth, and you've seen it, Jordan, oh, you've man. been here. Yeah. The growth in that young man in 12 months' time between his uh, education through the university, his trip to South Africa, his education through Film the Hunt, yeah, has been incredible yeah. in what he's yeah. learned. Yeah, absolutely. And how far he's come. So to think of what he's going to be able to do with more formal education. Yeah. And experience. Uh, and, and experience. And, and shooting. Correct. And, and, and editing. And so let's go back to your question that i don't believe i ever even answered no because i cut you off yeah but i was gonna get back okay. to that yeah so you asked how much you know work should an individual do for free mm -hmm. quote unquote yep. um uh it goes that you know it goes back to that individual and and crew let's use cruise we're talking about cruise um yep. again uh, 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 i call we'll say we could say a former student but he's he's actually still a student because he's got more more courses he you know he'll probably take with us and we're talking about utilizing him on a trip coming up this yeah. fall whether or not that'll come together i don't know point is is that we're gonna we're gonna you know propose that and it has been proposed as an internship yeah so uh where he would come out and work for free all expenses paid of course um but you know you've mm -hmm. been there you've yeah. watched other students come out and do these trips with us yeah and whether it's with us or someone else the amount of experience 
by accident what they'll learn. Yeah. Right? The yeah. troubleshooting scenarios they're going to be put in. The 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 intense moments. Um, you know, you name it. Yeah. The, cr- the crowd of people they're going to be around. From us to possibly being in camp with Jason Matzinger and his producer, yeah. Willie Schmidt and his producer. Yeah. Possibly being around the network. We've had Jake Tholen right. from the network. Yeah. The network. The things he will learn over the course of a couple of weeks' time mm-hmm. is... You cannot put a price tag just, on yeah, that. I was just going to say that. Yeah. So yeah. If, if an individual goes out and does something like that and walks away with it with so much information and then perhaps maybe goes back and takes a, another course, another formal course, mm-hmm. at that point, there's a good chance that that individual is going to be ready for what we call the graduates page yep. to where he or she could and should go out and have a price tag put on their work. Yeah. Whether that's 50 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day, 200 bucks a day, that's up to the individual. Yep. But I believe at that point they should. Now, on the flip side of that, we've had students take our course, go out and do some internship work, and they are still after, say, six months, 12 months down the road, not entirely ready yep. yet. Yeah. Um, we don't sugarcoat anything, but I'm also not going to punch you in the gut. Right. It, it's like... If you're not ready, I'm going to say, you know, you should probably consider, even if it's not with us, hopping on board with another company, doing another internship or a trip or two where it's going to be an educational, more experienced kind of a situation. Yeah. Yeah. Gain that experience. Learn a little bit more. You're not quite ready just yet. Yeah. You know, and and I don't know. I'm not afraid to call a spade a spade. I'm not putting anybody down. Well, just, I don't want to let you down. I don't want you to let yourself down. Right. You know, and everyone has. I mean, everyone's different. And so Absolutely. they learn differently. They go through it, you know, Absolutely. life differently. So it's it's you know, I've always looked at it is at, at, at life in general as it's one step at a time. And you can right. you can't right. as long as you're taking. Uh, steps forward forward and yes. not backwards that's right you're making right. progress you're making progress man at your own pace and yeah. and and patience yeah. will prevail absolutely it, 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 some absolutely. people just find get there quicker and it don't yep. matter it doesn't matter it, it it shouldn't matter to you you know the in, it shouldn't matter to you the individual that it may be if it's taking you a little longer it shouldn't matter to you because like you said you're still moving forward yeah and fact of the matter matter is jordan and you've seen this There is so much work available to the producers that take the initiative and get the education and do it right. Yep. It's 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 unreal. It's unreal. I mean, you you yourself Mm -hmm. know it outside of what you do for us. I mean, heck, you you've struck deals up here for your own personal business, and and I mean, you know how easy it is uh, with your education, your talent, Mm -hmm. and your skills. Mm -hmm. You know how easy it is. It's not hard to find work. Yeah. If you're determined. Yeah. enough to go out and, and get it yeah yeah I, and it, it but I, you're not going to go out and get uh, work in any industry unless you're determined right and hungry i was just going to say i honestly think that just going to the school for the four days is the easiest part because sure it is again you have to sure internally you have to be willing to go out and achieve what you want to achieve yeah and and learn and, and you're essentially you're self-employed or whatever it doesn't matter if you're working for a company or not correct you still have to be driven to go your your next paycheck relies on you correct and only you there's no boss that's gonna sign right. it at the end of the week right. sign another check yeah yeah so you have to be hungry and i mean i got i mean i got buddies and i grew up in the uh you know the uh the contracting industry you know uh i was a carpenter for a few years i was an electrician for yeah. quite a few years and uh i never ran my own company in that trade i did as a kid you know landscaping and lawn, right. lawns and stuff and actually i attribute a lot of my business sense to that running a, a business um as a young as a young individual but my point is is that i don't care what industry you're in that next job relies on you yeah. this is no different yeah matter of fact it's harder because it, in a sense that the work's available but there's so many people trying to do it yeah you know you take a town you take a town with whatever sixty thousand people a hundred thousand people in it and there's 15 contractors in town well you're gonna get work yeah you know you're gonna get work by accident yeah you take a room like this full of all these uh, manufacturers and all Absolutely. these, you know, guys. And there's, you know, how many people are walking around this room right now saying, hey, I'm, I'm filming for a TV show or I got a TV or I'm starting a TV show. Right. Or, hey, you want to trade a hunt for a promo video? I mean, yeah, uh, the ratio is a little bit higher. I'd of individuals, a lot higher. A lot higher. Yeah. So the, the competition for the work is harder. So you're yeah. going to have to get the education. You're going to have to work hard and you're going to have to be good. I guess I might as well take a 
beard break you might too. As well. You might as well. I just did, and it was delicious. I know. Well, you're <laughs> drinking Bud Light. You know, I think it's a Chevy Smart guy choice. thing. Well, you're right. I mean, it, you're right. It is. I mean, normal people um, <laughs> drink good beer and drive good trucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. You're right. <laughs> and, you know, my grandpa drank Miller Lite and drove a Ram. <laughs> Actually, he I, drove a Dodge. That truck, you know, really, it was so bad they had to change the name. They're like, oh, you know, because yeah, there's so much horse Dodge power. name. <laughs> uh, here, Jordan and I go with our meaningless truck conversations. Um, oh, boy. Well, if a person is driven, has the education and has an eye and he has not yet broke into the outdoor industry and wants to work with a company. Let's just say, let's use prime archery, for instance. Sure. What kind of recommendation would you give to individuals say that budget's already been spent with us? So there's no room there. All right. Move on. Good, good. <laughs> or, let's use PSC then. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, Continue. But, yeah. It just like if he wants to go out, and he has the talent and knows that he could benefit prime archery in a way with his content. Mm-hmm. Should he go up and say, hey, I want to give you 10 photos for a bow? Or should he start a relationship and say, hey, I want to try and work for you and let's try and grow this relationship? Ah, million dollar <laughs> question, man. Yeah. Million dollar question. Um that answer's changed over the years, and, and, and I'm a tough one to ask that question to because... That's kind of why I asked yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Um, I'm a pretty firm believer in don't do things for free uh, if you're looking to grow a business. I mean, right. um, you know, uh, I'll go back to the contractor reference. Um, if you're starting a business uh, building decks and building homes, you're not going to go around the neighborhood and build a bunch of decks for free. Correct. Just so you hopefully land a job to build a deck for, you know, for a paycheck next month. So... Uh, yeah. You know, you're not going to do it. Right. There's cost involved in that. Right. There's hard costs. So maybe one could argue that. Uh, but you know what? There's hard cost in what we're doing. You bought that camera. You bought those SD cards, that microphone. You bought uh, the software to yeah. edit, uh, edit the, the photos or the video on, you know, so you've uh, you've spent the money. And, and you know what? Somebody could say, Tom, you're a hypocrite because you've done it. Well, you know what? I have. I have. Right. When I rewind over the years. Um, yeah, I have. Uh but again, I will um, I will say that it's a different time, yeah. and I hate to say that because I'm dating myself. But we didn't have social media when I started doing this. There yeah. was no such thing as Facebook or Instagram yeah. back then. I mean, maybe Facebook was just coming on, but it was not used for what it's used for today. <laughs> right. It wasn't a marketing tool. It was a yeah. social platform for communicating with family. My point is, is that you you. You're driving your own ship here. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. if once you set that precedent of, hey, I've delivered some really quality, high quality images to this company yeah. for free, yeah, then I've already told them at corporate level, especially if you're not the only one doing it, if there's 10, 12 others doing it, then that corp, imagine that company around a boardroom table saying, let's talk about our social media platforms and, and who we're working with and the money we're spending with these individuals. You're going to have guy, you know, the marketing guy A stand up and go, well, we received uh, over 200 images, high quality stuff from yeah. A, B, C, and D. Uh, you know, they're just pro staffers or they're this and that. And we didn't have to give them a thing. Yeah. Well. Or we gave them a discount code. Or we gave them a discount code. So we still made money yeah. on them. Yeah. Uh, and they <laughs> gave us work. Or they gave us content. Um well, let's think about that for a minute. So you bought all this gear. You spent all this time to learn how to use it properly. Yeah. You bought the software. You spent the set. You spent the time to sit down and and shoot this stuff, edit this stuff. You spent the time to negotiate. Yeah. To be able to even give them these images. Yeah. So how let's let's calculate all this time and energy and all this stuff for what? For zero dollars and the hopes to maybe work with them again. Now, do I think that walking up to the same company and saying, "Hey, I'm." Timmy, nice to meet you, and I would like you to buy my images. Do I think that's going to work? No. So here's the way I'm going to leave this Yep. Uh, because I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer to this question. I, I feel like there's way too many people out there doing things for free. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to say uh, my suggestion is stop it. Mm-hmm. Find a better way to do it because you're cutting your own Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're, you really are. Yeah. Um, uh, but... The way I look at this is I almost feel 
and I wasn't I wasn't doing business 50 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, but when I listen to stories of my dad and these other these other people that were growing their businesses 50 years ago, or they were trying to buy homes 50 years ago, the conversation would go something like this: I'm looking to I'm you know I was looking to buy a home, my first home, or I was looking to build a home. So I went down and talked to Bob at the bank. And Bob's like, "What do you want, Tom? Tim? Yeah, I want to build a home up on uh, Smith Street." Bob said, "Well, well, that's great. Tell your dad I said hi. You got the money. Just come back on Wednesday and we'll get that mortgage all set for you." That's how people did business. They did business with people. Yeah. People did business with people. I think throughout the last 30 years, a lot of that changed a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Corporations grew larger. uh, Technology changed and all that. And now I kind of personally feel like it's back to that in a sense because it's so saturated. Yeah. These corporations have to go back to buying from people, advertising, spending their money with people. They have to know that, gosh, there's a lot of people out there doing this or saying they're doing this. I don't know who to trust anymore. I got to go back to my relationships and say, I know this guy. He's not out to get me. Or he's going to say what he, he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. going to put his, you know, if I put, if I invest in him, he's going to deliver. Yeah. So they're not just, uh, they're not just, I need content. Oh, okay. I know such and such agency sells this stuff. Go buy it from them. They're going to, they're going to invest in, in people, whether that's a content creator, a TV show, uh, a, a magazine, right. um, excuse me, a network. They're going to choose the avenues with the connections that they have or the people they know. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. most cases, you know, I don't know. I, I so Again, I look at our relationships and I say, why is Prime paying us over so-and-so? This company, I feel like, does a better job at this than us. Well, maybe there is no answer. Maybe it's that we formed a relationship that we've had for almost 10 years with Prime. Yeah. We do a fantastic job. We sell product for them. We always deliver on time. We always deliver what we say we're going to do. As a matter of fact, we under-promise and over-deliver. Yeah. Why wouldn't they do business with us, right? right? Yeah. Um, so my suggestion in the end form networks be your own person shake hands and meet people and i feel like you're just gonna start to get work by accident yep somebody say you know i hung out and had dinner and drank beer with zone so man they were flipping through some images and showing me some stuff they did you know we got that commercial coming up or we got that social media spot why don't we give them a shot why don't we give them a chance yeah you know yeah Yeah. i didn't give them anything i just talked to him had a conversation i didn't throw shove content down his throat i just had dinner and drinks with him yep and he knows what i do right and now he's calling me for work. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I don't know. I feel like that would work. It's it's crazy. It is, I've talked to people and, and coming from my background, I always go back to grassroots, shaking hands and kissing babies. Yeah, absolutely. At the absolutely. End of, at the end of the day, that, it, it, it's, it's worked for relatable. so long. Yeah. It's tried and true, man. Yeah. It's tried yeah. and true. Building yeah. those relationships and just getting out. And like you had said, be yourself. Yeah. You absolutely. have to be yourself. You know, Jordan, <clears throat> you're a perfect example of this. <laughs> you are. And now I'm not sitting here saying, oh, you know, you got the dream job. You're working for us. You know, you're making all kinds of money. No, that's not what I'm saying. But the only reason you two, we're, uh, you and I are sitting here right now yeah. is because of you. It's because of you. It's because of you that, A, you walked up to us at ATA. God knows how many years ago <laughs> that was. I don't know. Six, right? Or something. <laughs> yeah. And you shook our hands and you introduced yourself and it was great. And it was like, oh, you know, and you know, what? I, I, rem- I remember that to this day. We took a picture together. Yeah. And then I remember I ran into you at the Ohio Deer and Turkey Expo in yeah. a hallway and you were with MFK or something doing some calling stuff or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But you made it a point to come over and shake my hand and say, yeah. hey, uh, I remembered you again. Yeah. And then next thing you know. You're signed up. You're taking the schools. You're reaching out. You're saying, hey, if you guys ever need work and you, you're just you were you. You were you were you were confident, but not arrogant. You were assertive. You were um, determined. You were talented. You you have a good head on your shoulders. You have a family life. You know, I, 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 there was so much so much, you know, that, that so many um, arrows that pointed towards this guy, because you know what, for us doing what we do from the TV show to the, 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 uh, the, the film schools to all the contacts we have. Finding a producer for us, finding somebody to press record, yeah, is not hard, yeah. right? You right. know that. Oh yeah, yeah. But finding someone for us that stands out, and that Nick and I can say, yeah, 
him. You know it. You're living it now as we're oh, trying yeah, to choose it's, it's, guy number two. Yeah. So when it came to you, it was all. It was actually us on the other ends going. I hope. I hope he's. I, I hope he's okay with this. I hope he wants to do this. Yeah. You know. Whereas you're thinking, maybe you know, this is great. Thank God I get a chance to do this. We're thinking, boy, I hope he's okay with this because Jordan, you, you, you're the reason that you're sitting here because of all of that stuff we're telling someone else to do. You didn't shove work down our throat. Matter of fact, I don't think I saw a single thing you had done. Not one no. until you came to the school. You weren't like, hey, man, check out what I did. Hey, man, right. check out this. Check out this. That would have came across arrogant. Yeah. yeah. The confidence and you're just, hey, here I am. And, hey, I'm trying to do this. But humbleness to say, I need to come to school and better myself. Huh. That's the equation. That's two plus two equals four. You know? So... I don't know. I guess my advice is everybody just be Jordan Suzuki. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no, <laughs> no. But you're a protege. You are exactly what the schools are trying to provide the industry. You are. Well, thank you. Uh, very, very kind. And yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got that dust. Nine day <laughs> dust. Still, he's crying. Actually, that's no, not dust. No, he's, no, <laughs> no I, honestly, I and I remember as a kid. Um, my dad, my brother, and I, we would sit there Sunday mornings and watch outdoor television. Yeah, sure. And to me, it was always like, yes, yeah, and it was always, you know, my, or uh, Bill Jordan. Yeah. And, and Real Tree Real Monster, Tree Monster Bucks, Bucks. Sure, you know, I Sunday did the same mornings. exact thing, dude. And yeah, it was always fascinating to watch big yeah. deer. Yeah. But to me, it was always like, man, how, how they're getting away with two guys in the tree yep. and killing these giant deer. Yeah, so how are I they would, doing it? Yeah. Yeah. And so, fascinating, yeah. So over as I get older and stuff like that, I I had a I had, still have a really good buddy, and uh, man, we've been filming. You know, we always took a camera on the woods. You yep. know, I remember recording our little small DVDs with the Sony, D, you know, oh, you know yeah. camcorder. Sure, sure. And we, we, you know, we always acted like we were filming for a TV show sure. and doing the interviews and just ah, man, I was yeah, there. I get, yeah. it. I get it. I get and it. Yeah. It, it really didn't dawn on me. I mean, I went to college for forestry. You know, I and then I started my own consulting business in the in the forestry industry. Uh, and then the uh, wood market took a giant crash. I lost a bunch of money on a job. My wife at the time was pregnant, so I had to go out yeah, and get life got you. Yeah, I had to go out and get a pay, paycheck. I, I had to it. provide. Yep. And uh, so I worked in the beverage industry for ten years. The last company I worked for, I worked for for seven. A great company. Sure. They treated me well. I was, and there was potential for me to grow. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I still did not Didn't enjoy love it. Your career. Oh, or, yeah. yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you en- yeah right. I'm yeah. sure you enjoyed parts of it or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I was working for a beer company, so it wasn't bad. Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. But in 2017, my wife and I made that decision. Like, <clears throat> I really want to do this. Let's try it. And uh, so I attended the field uh, field production course, and at the time I was actually producing a television show for Predator Hunter Outdoors TV. Yeah, it was I just a that. it was just a local uh, station in the uh, Detroit and Lansing area, mm-hmm. but it was I was something. Yeah, it was experience and right, uh, and I was having a blast at it. And uh, it actually I attended the um, March editing course first. That's right. And that's I'm, right because that's the first time I ever saw anything that you had shot and put together because you had produced. A video out of one of the lessons, yeah, right, yeah, did, did an edit yep. and everything, yeah, so that so that everybody could see it. Yeah, yep. I remember that very well. And yep. uh, you know, I remember at that point it was towards the end of the class. Nick's like, "Hey, man, you should, you know, try and come to the you know June Field. class." Yeah, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> I remember going home and talking to the wife, and I was like, "Man, what, like, how, how are we gonna pull this off?" Right, you know, sure. And 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 she's like, well, "I don't know, you know, if if." if things line up we can you know do it well obviously a couple months went by and it got down to you know making a decision yeah and uh i remember calling up and saying hey man i'm gonna sign up and i'm I'm gonna do it and it was the best one of the best decisions i ever made because it changed changed my life yeah now after the school i still had not committed to doing this fully i was still doing it here and there part time yeah because i while i was still at the beer company i got job you know an offer which i thought was gonna be the best yeah i was i was asked to come be a part owner of a carhartt store and and create this business and this um you know this atmosphere for blue collar workers Mm -hmm. and we Mm -hmm. did you did it yeah you did but i still wasn't in love with my daily life exactly and i remember going more important and i remember going home and and you know because my wife you know i was stressed to the max i mean obviously when you're a business owner and everything like that you're you're just it's crazy yeah 
And, yeah. and she's like, well, what do you want? Is, if this isn't working, what's going to work? Because obviously it all affected my mood and everything. Sure. Yeah. And, Bring and it she, work home. Yeah. And, and yep. she's like, you went to the schools. Why don't you do that? Yep. And I remember the conversation. We, you know, you and I always had because oh, yeah. our relationship was growing and everything sure. like that. Sure. Um, and it was just, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a big believer in, a, you know, in, in taking that sure. leap of faith. I knew I was going to be okay because I knew. Yeah. And then I didn't know when the next paycheck was going to come, but I knew if I worked hard enough. Yep. I was going to find the money yeah, somewhere. Trust in yourself. If I had to go cut wood that exactly. week, I was going to go cut wood. And I've been there, brother, so I get it. Yep. And I yep. think that's the mindset people have to kind of have going into this. Unless you're a yeah, golden egg and you're a Donnie Vincent right off the bat. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm not well, saying Andor's, Donnie Vincent's a golden egg. I just. No, no. Because. Is. I mean, I no, I get it. I get it. He's, I mean, I, 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 and then let's, I think there's a great spot to mention too though that also your lively are you married are you single yeah are you you know 35 with a mortgage or are you 21 with nothing no bills that comes into play too for yeah. sure i mean you were married with yeah. three kids three kids yeah 30 years old married with three kids that's uh, a big leap yeah. to take yeah. so that so that woman behind you yeah <laughs> she's a gem brother yeah she's a gem yeah and i know that because again same thing i can't tell you how many conversations i have with my wife where it was like no trust me honey yeah we're gonna be okay yeah and you know what she has zero knowledge of how to run our business and why it would work or not work zero right so she had to literally trust in her husband that we'd be able to pay next month's mortgage yeah we'd be able to pay the car payments we'd be able to feed our daughter right so I and and we did yeah and, and and you did yeah so just I guess I guess the reason I think I'm emphasizing on this I'm not sure if you have another ulterior motive but for me I, I want people the listeners to understand that there's a huge difference in in the risk you know if you're young do it now well, yeah you it, know but if but if you're 30 and married with three kids don't be afraid don't be trust afraid. in yourself yeah. Uh, yeah. Trust in yourself, and 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 you know we always say, you know, part of the become one brand is you know if you're dreaming of it, you know, go become one. Yeah. No matter what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but do it. You know, you need to do it because you got one life. Exactly. And if this, if you're not happy, um, now there is also a fine line of okay, if you try and it's not paying the bills, you got to go cut wood. You got to do what you got to do to feed your kid and pay the mortgage. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> but don't. And you got to have that. Shy away. Yeah, and you got to have that mindset of knowing that, like. Absolutely. Yes, if I gotta go do that, I can do it. What? A, yeah. Yep. It, yep. Until it gets there. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. I've got hex. I've I've got friends and family that I know are in that other boat. Mm -hmm. They're 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 mid fifties and, and hate their jobs. Yeah. Hate, hate, you know, really can't stand their professional life, yeah. and that is sad to me because I know what I did and where I'm sitting today and what I'm doing. I, I, I said, I feel like, you know, getting, I just want to shake them. Like you can do it. What is wrong with you? Yeah. You know, but giant risk. It is for with big risk yeah, comes absolutely. big reward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, we, you need to take the risks, yeah. period. You know, it doesn't fall into your lap. Yeah. You say, you say that and, and going back to, you know, how I got started out filming with my buddy. Yeah. yeah. He's like, he, yeah. He's working weekends. He's, I mean, he's a, he's an assistant manager at a, at a big store. Yeah. And I probably not very happy. Yeah. Uh, and in we started this. Life. Yeah. And, and right. Yeah. Right. And we, when we started that, we, you know, shoot, we started a DJing business to pay for our camera gear. That's fantastic. You know, yeah, because, whatever you need to pay the bills, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I get it, man. <laughs> if it means mixing tunes, it means mixing tunes. Oh. Which, by the way, I've seen you DJ at the <laughs> <Yeah>. Nocturnal commercial, <laughs> and boy, it's fantastic. Uh. If you get a chance, go on our YouTube page. <laughs> And check out the latest Nocturnal commercial. Yeah. We produced it this past summer, and it is it was fun, and Jordan is the DJ. So look in the background yeah. for the DJ and just enjoy the just yeah. enjoy the scenery. I will say my hair is much, much shorter. Now, now. you were rocking it back then, boy. I'll tell you, between that and the Fu Manchu, it was like, yes, Jordan's yeah. got the moves, All man. I needed was electric guitar and tight jeans. I could be a rock star. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. So, yeah, but man, yeah, it's not for everybody, but you got to take some risk and you, yeah. and, and, you, and if, if you can dream it, you can be it. That's what I yeah. tell my daughter all the time. And, well, and I, and I think that's anything. If you want 
to be an astronaut and go land on the moon right. again. That's impossible. Don't try that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm kidding. Well, yeah. But you know what I mean? <laughs> I do. Then I work do. towards it. Yeah. Don't be afraid. If you continue yeah. to work towards your goal, yeah, I think at some point you're going to get Absolutely. there. It may Absolutely. not be overnight. Yeah. It may be 15 years down the road. Well, and here's here's a good point, too. And, 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 and I'll, okay, again, I'll keep it relatable. I'll keep it to this industry. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people that have come into the school and they're like, I want to do this full time. Like, I want this. This yeah. is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. And they go through the schools and they do all of that and they, you know, they, they continue to push. But then you know what? Uh, they meet a they meet a girl. They get married. They have a kid or whatever. Yeah. Life happens. Yeah. And and they may steer off. But you know, I've seen them over the years. That same individual. They keep that passion though, and they may not end up doing this full time. They yeah. may not have taken this career path as they thought they wanted to. Yeah. But it still remained a part of their life. And you know what? They do it as a side gig. Yeah. Or they continue to do it with their friends, and they have a YouTube channel. So they're still, if you're passionate enough about it. You can still make it a part of your life, mm-hmm. whether or not. Mm-hmm. And like you said, working towards it, they're still working towards it. And who knows? In 15 years, when their kids are graduated high school and all that stuff, they may circle back. Yep. Because you know that's a that's another life for you as a as a parent, as an adult, is yeah. when your kids go off to co- go off to college or their own lives. You know, we've talked about it. we've had younger people stop here at the booth and, yeah. and talk. We've had people that are getting ready to retire. Absolutely, a lot a lot of like retired military is one of the most popular. Yeah. You know, uh, but yeah, absolutely. It's for, it's for all ages, but it's it's certainly a a, a younger man's game, uh, uh, full time. Yes, right. Yeah. You know some of the some of the uh, uh, <laughs> some of those long days, long weeks. They start blending into each other, and yeah. it's uh, yeah, it, it, it's tough work. I guess is my point. I shouldn't say it's a younger man's game, but don't expect to skate across yeah. the ice. Yeah. You know, yeah, because you, yeah, I mean, for a perfect example, I mean, we went twenty five days straight. In Montana, yeah, on a probably average of four to five hours of sleep a, yes. a night. It's a fair estimate, yeah. But if, and I guess it's uh, doing it. six to eight miles a day on yeah. foot, and, yeah. And if you love something enough, that four to five hours, yeah, you'll probably sleep for three days after you get back. But oh, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. But getting up in the morning is is not as hard. It's not. It's because not. you know you're gonna go do something yeah. that you love. You climb up in the mountains and listen to book bugling bulls. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. mind doing that tomorrow morning. Well, that would be pretty cool. But <laughs> I think there's quite a bit of snow up there. Who we yeah, go? Yeah, <laughs> they may not be bugling this time of year either, but it would be kind of fun. Yeah. If they were. Well, man, man, I know, uh, you know, I know you and I. We could we could talk for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I do appreciate easy. your time and, and sharing the beer over this and, and kind of talking about some things that a lot of people don't really talk about. Yeah. And, yep. um, you know, I, I hope people can take some advice over, you know, out of this uh, if they've listened to the conversation. Um, and if they do have any questions, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're uh, we're available in a lot of avenues. I, you know, of course, we got the, the TV show, Become One TV, um, but also well, the edu- yes. When does that air? Uh, Become One is on Sportsman Channel. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out, we'd love for you to, and we'd love yeah. to hear feedback on it. Um, we are January through June. Uh, through the month of June, and uh, where our anchor slot is Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, Eastern Standard Time, and we've got a total of uh, four airings every week. It, yeah. uh, the same episode will air four times. Um, another popular one is Wednesday mornings at nine. But I mean, there's DVR, right? Yeah. There's all yeah. this stuff. But yeah, uh, Monday nights at nine, Sportsman Channel. Um, and January through June on that, uh, but also filmthehunt.com. I mean, nice. if, you're, if you're looking at the education stuff and that's what you want to look, go to filmthehunt.com. Uh, we've got email addresses on there. There's office phone numbers on there. Uh, of course, there's Facebook. There's Instagram messaging. Yep. I mean, if you can't get a hold of us, man, there's a problem. There's something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, then this uh, this job is not for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, we're we're certainly readable. I mean, and and you know what? With all the brands and everything we got going on, and doing this full time, uh, you know, honestly, you shouldn't go for more than twenty four to 48 hours tops uh, without hearing back from us. I mean, you know, even when we're in the mountains, there's yeah. times when we get service and what are we doing? We're on our phone, we're punching, yeah. we're replying yeah. to people and doing our best. So we're pretty easy to get in touch with. I think my standard, I tell a lot of people, if it's 72 hours and you ever just call my wife. Yeah, <laughs> Make no sure I'm kidding, alive. right. Call the law, like call, yeah. Yeah, because something is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, great, man. Well, I, again, I totally appreciate you uh, jumping on here. I know it's it's been uh, a, a long four days uh, for you and a, and a long stretch yeah, for me. But, but uh, it's been a lot of fun, man. And I feel like it hasn't even been nine days, but <laughs> as I cough up dirt. Yeah. Um, they go by quick. 
They do. They, they go by really quick. Oh. We got we got more trade shows ahead, man. We're going to be uh, Ohio and Wisconsin coming up March and the beginning of April. So, yeah. uh, you know, hopefully, uh, we've never done those shows, and so hopefully, we get to meet some new people and uh, you know get some get some new blood interested. For yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a lot of room in the industry, man. There's a lot of room. Well, let's take our empty beer cups here. <laughs> yeah, cheers to it. <laughs> cheers, yeah, I know, man. right? It was it was a one beer conversation. <laughs> yeah. It was a sipper too. We didn't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I appreciate you uh, as you know I do as a, as a student as a, most importantly as a friend, uh, but but as a student as a as a uh, as a producer, um, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I just appreciate your work, and uh, like I said, most importantly, as a friend. You Thank know, you, brother. With you. Yeah, means, you, means a lot, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us today with Tom, as I really enjoyed this conversation. We hope that you can take something away from it. And if you have any questions, hit us up on our social media platforms. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube just by searching Film the Hunt. Now, whether if you're on the fence about taking that leap or if you want to get started, check out filmthehunt.com. You can see when the Film the Hunt classes are, as well as our online school. And if you want to sign up for that online school, I have a discount code for you. That is FTH Podcast. Again, that's FTH P O D C A S T, all lowercase. And you'll be able to save 25% on that. Also, don't forget about that discount code that we have with Bedford Camera and Video. And that is Film the Hunt. Apply the Film the Hunt discount code at checkout, and you'll save some money on gear and accessories. And we can't thank Bedford Outdoors and Bedford Camera and Video enough for the support of this podcast. So until next time, everyone, go out and capture life because great moments come and go. Cheers, everyone.